For years, Irene Gorillao and ex-husband Anthony Gorillao tried to make it work, breaking up and making up with their three young children caught in the middle. On the side, however, as explained in police reports from officers who interviewed the defendant immediately after the deadly duel, Carl Gargarita was the man on the side, the man Irene dated and moved in with between trying to mend her marriage. On the stand today, GPD officers Angelito Menlulu and Anthony Borja explained that during interviews with Gargarita just hours after he allegedly choked Anthony Grill out of death, Gargarita had been out with Irene for drinks. The two met at a Tumon nightclub where they smoked weed and later had sex in Irene's car. When Irene's cell phone continued to ring, Gargarita grew frustrated and answered the phone only to see the caller was another man identified as, quote, Chris from Petey, end quote, on the phone screen. Gargarita answered the phone using vulgar words making Irene upset and prompting her to get up and leave. Gargarita, concerned that Irene would try to drive home intoxicated, took away her keys. Gargarita and his friend, Jove and Venser, who also testified today, followed Irene across the street where they waited for her ride in the back parking lot of the bar Old Traditions. Although Gargarita offered to take Irene home, Irene dialed for her ex-husband Anthony and her uncle. On the phone, she told Anthony she'd be home in 30 minutes. Roughly 30 minutes later, Anthony reportedly drove up to the parking lot in a red Forerunner SUV with young children in the car. According to testimonies heard today, Anthony got out of the car and charged at Gargarita, where the two men got into a fist fight before taking the fight to the pavement, where they grappled and wrestled. Gargarita had the advantage mounted on top of Anthony, who made an attempt to get up. That's when Gargarita reportedly told the police that he, quote, cranked the chokehold for about a minute, end quote. Although bystanders attempted CPR, Anthony died later in a hospital. Testimonies today noted that Gargarita has no training in jiu-jitsu and that prior to that night, Irene informed Gargarita that her youngest child, a four-month-old, was Gargarita's child and not Anthony's. Later this afternoon, prosecution rested its case. Immediately after, defense motioned for a judgment of acquittal. According to Assistant Public Defender Peter Sablon, no evidence presented by the government justifies murder charges, manslaughter charges, or even the lesser included negligent homicide. Instead, defense contends it was self-defense and that Gargarita did not know that what he did would result in death. In response to defense's motion, Assistant AG Gerald Henderson argued that Gargarita held the chokehold an estimated minute, longer than necessary as proven by earlier testimonies from both eyewitness Kylie Heron and medical examiner Dr. Aurelia Spinola. Henderson closed his argument stating, quote, He can use force to protect himself, but he can't use lethal force on someone who's unconscious, end quote. Judge Maria Senzon will consider both arguments and return with their decision when jurors return for trial Thursday afternoon. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.